So can you tell us how you accidentally bought a bookstore? <laughs> um, I came in with my kids and bought them some books and mentioned to the lady that I really always wanted to own a bookstore. And she said, well, why don't you? I said, because I can't afford one. And she said, I bet you you'd be wrong about that. So she asked me to come in the next day and I met the owner and we, he said, I hear you want to own a bookstore. And I said, I do. And he said, well, what do you know about bookstores? And I told him that I had worked here with his daughter um, back um, several years ago when my little one was crawling around and I helped uh, shelf books. And he said, oh, you knew Marilyn? I said, I did. And he said, okay, well, if you want to own a bookstore, let's, let's do it. Let's see what you can do. We shook hands and he said, anything you make over what I need to pay per month, you can have and we'll go from there. And so I had a sale, I was here, I worked, I put stuff away, I kind of reorganized some things and uh, I came in last week and he said, you did good kid, let's do this. And so we signed some papers and ta-da. We're talking with Jessica, the Clackamas Book Exchange on Southeast King near 82nd. So you've had a long time relationship with this family. Absolutely. They've been around for 43 years. I've been coming here for probably at least 15 or 16. And um, I got to know Marilyn really well. I got to know Linda, who's been running the bookstore. Um, Marilyn, unfortunately, died from COVID a couple of years ago. And um, Linda was her best friend. So Linda's been running the bookstore out of love and she's been here five days a week and she's been amazing. All the customers come in and say, where's Linda? Where, where's the lady that's always here? Who are you? And um, she's been amazing. So she's still here. She's still here two days a week for right now. And um, I, Bob comes in every day. He comes in and has coffee and donuts with me and he's gonna be here forever. And um, yeah, it's a great location, great place, great customers. I hope to do it justice. What's your vision for the future? Oh gosh, so we wanna get some local authors in here. Like we, I have a real love for people that are local, that are publishing in new and different ways. And we're gonna have author signings and lots of new merch. We've got um, some book related things, earrings, some book related rings. Um, we really just wanna reach a bunch of people. This summer we wanna do a kid's day. Uh, with some bubble machines and some face painters, some free hot dogs. We just kind of want to really have a good community base here. We want to get some seats in here so people can come and sit and read and just have this be kind of a hangout and somewhere that you bring your kids, your grandkids, yourself, and um, just come see us. I love it. Do you have any events scheduled right now? I do. In fact, uh, July 9th, I've got my first author signing. So from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we've got an author signing. And um, you can come in, you can pick up the books. I've got the books for pre-sale here. Come on in and pick them up, bring them back to get them signed. And we're going to do some giveaways. Um, not that day necessarily, but we've got some swag bags from some other author signings that um, one of my partners has gone to and so we've got a lot of fun fun stuff coming up awesome thank you so much for your time you're welcome thank you